This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, first of all, I wanted to say thank you for everyone who's helped get the channel to 10,000 subscribers. It's, uh, I think, a really big achievement, and um, I'm hoping that in sort of four or five years from now, we can really push that number over the edge to sort of maybe like, I don't know, maybe even getting towards the 100,000. So thank you so much for all your support, and uh, it's a really big deal to me. And um, yeah, thank you so much for that. And yeah, just keep you know like and subscribe and doing that stuff if you like and hopefully we can really push it in the year 2024 maybe in an excess of 15 to 20,000 that'd be great I wanted to do a video talking about the Boss Blues Driver BD2 um, because I think it's uh, a really underrated pedal although I guess you're probably fairly used to being told about these pedals and they I think Anatons did a video where it came up and uh, Rabia actually picked this out of a bunch of stuff. I did a video recently talking about why I think I've probably sold most of my boutique pedals that I had. Um, there, there aren't that many anymore. And I feel like the Boss Blues Driver really does stand up super well with any of them. It's an £80 pedal, I think £75 at the moment, fair deal. There is a Waza version, but to be honest, I don't think you really need it. There are Keeley modded versions of them and variations, but again, for me personally, I feel like this does such a fantastic job that it's to me not broken you don't need to fix it i have a version of this on my live pedal board but i don't actually utilize it at the moment because i need a remote switch for it um, but the angry driver has both the blues driver and a really other underrated circuit i think which is basically the marshall governor but repurposed by jhs the angry charlie um, but the blues driver the reason that i personally wanted to try one was that uh, andy timmons of course, uses a uh, Blues Driver Keeley uh, modded 
But he also on his sweet water board had just some stock ones. And I thought, right, well, if it's good enough for Andy Timmons, I can make do with that. Um, they sound fantastic. And I, I really think they give loads and loads of other drive pedals a run for their money. I think for certain things, this easily beats a Tube Screamer. I think for certain things, this, to me, easily beats a Klon. Does a super, super good job of that sort of kind of mid-gain tone. But also you can get way up there in terms of gain as well. It is an amp in a box type pedal. It's basically got a Fender tone stack between two gain stages, if you didn't know that. I didn't a few uh, months back and I did a bit of research on it. So essentially, yeah, that's what's going on with the Blues Driver. It's quite a kind of cool design. You've got two clipping kind of circuits and then within that you have your Fender tone stack kind of emulation of that essentially in analog form. Downsides of the pedal for me, there aren't really any, except for if you put this on a stand, this little thing stops you you pressing it. But uh, it's a, a fantastic pedal. Um, there are some clones out there of it. Uh, of course, Keeley now make the At mod, which is based on a blues driver as well, and the Fat mod. Um, but I think it's a fantastic pedal. Uh, maybe we'll jump in and show some tones, but I just wanted to say thank you for getting the channel to 10,000 subscribers and also just celebrate the blues driver as... I think my pedal of the year, it's been a real revelation alongside the Angry Driver, which I think is basically pretty similar in terms of the reason I like it. It's like a cheaper pedal that does some really cool things. Uh, you don't need to be a snob with this sort of thing. It just sounds really good, I think. Uh, all I did there was just plug it into my Helix Native preset and just went for it. it sounds great. Thanks to everyone who helps um, the channel get to 100,000 as a celebration I've come to McDonald's with my daughter for a uh, cookies and cream pie. Shame they don't have it. Didn't have cream pie so I've got to not have cream pie. So um, people ask you know how do you stay so humble in the light of such incredible success and I say you know it's important to remember that uh, literally just playing guitar in your bedroom and uh, they didn't have a cream pie so instead of a cream pie I'm gonna stick my p in the galaxy caramel pie just a celebration in a way so um, yeah a toast to um, all of you unfortunate folks who put up with watching stuff on this channel I also got a um, galaxy McAfee so that's you know celebration Stay toxic. So not a bad idea actually the blues driver if you were looking for a buffer for the front of your pod go for instance if you had a an older unit that like mine uh, has a bit of a, that uh, impedance issue uh, or something that you could plug in front of your interface if you don't have a high Z input this might be a good shout for that anyway my clean <laughs> Let's start with the gain down here. These tend to be the sort of settings. So you sort of gain at about 10 o'clock. For that really nice kind of touch sensitive thing. The tone, uh, obviously for this, I, I tend to set it a bit darker. as you up the game. I think it sounds as expensive as any other drive pedal out there really.
again just clean so for the really high gain stuff i don't necessarily know that it's my favorite pedal ever but this mid gain stuff and the kind of idea of a transparent boost kind of job I actually kind of prefer it to a lot of other things particularly like a tube screamer um, so that's kind of why I really like the blues driver let me know your thoughts if you're a fan of the blues driver or if you don't get on with it why you hate it I'd love to know your thoughts cheers mm -hmm.